Good day, everyone. Good day, guys. Welcome to another episode of Sailing for Power. We are at Border Island. <laughs> we went for a spear over there at Delrain Island yesterday and got a nice trout. There's whales there, turtles, dolphins. Like, it's pretty awesome. turtle look two turtles down there Where? this place oh, is yeah. absolutely beautiful we just went for a drive around the island this morning to check out the rock formations here which are just awesome and then we climbed up into this big cave that our friends found and we just hiked to the top of the island well sort of that would be the top technically up there but um yeah it's just a really beautiful beautiful part of the wheat sundays We finally caught up with our mates from Selkie and Kinta in the Blitz Sundays. The islands aren't usually known for their clear water, but since we'd had some calm seas and small tides, we were blessed with some of the best water we'd seen here. Not breaking this up, but this big ass trap just came and like, sniffed your ass. Yeah, Stanners, there's a massive rust down there. You can look over that ledge, you just can't see anything. It's like, oh, it's scary. It's not even, yeah, it's like 10 meters. It feels like you're at 30. If you, want, if you wanted to make one of those YouTube videos where you restore the old watch or something. Gun. <laughs> That's a, what? a lot of mono on that gun. Yeah. I shot it, it just ran, just I tried to stop it, just ran into this cave. <laughs> Beautiful fish, eh? Very nice. Oh, I'm blown away. Uh, this is, yeah. Sel we nearly didn't come here. Selkie called our bluff yesterday. We were sailing past. We were heading to Manta Ray Bay and they said, oh, we're going to stop at Border Island because there was no wind. And they pulled in here and I was like, oh, I don't know. I sort of just want to go to Manta Ray Bay. Luckily, they well called our bluff stop. and we came in. They dragged us in here <laughs> and um, yeah, just absolutely blown away. We didn't really do any research so we had zero expectations and it's blown all of them yeah That's absolutely stunning well, so we were 
were just driving past and I was watching all this bait jump and then this huge mouth just came flying out of the water. You can see him hunting on the reef, just here. There's heaps of bait up there, look at it all. I can't resist, so I'm jumping in. We've literally just got our mask and snorkel here. Michael's staying out, but I have to see what's hitting this bait. It looks so cool. The coral is beautiful here too. Oh, wow. And then in all the coral was like little trout heads popping up from out, like just sitting in there, just grabbing fish as they're going past. And it's beautiful coral. So this is the south eastern corner of the horseshoe oh. of the bay. <laughs> For anyone that comes smashed. here, because that was just some really nice times. Southeastern, northeastern. Northeastern corner, yeah. So that was like the nicest. Um, diving I've done in the Whit Sundays. It was absolutely beautiful. The coral, the big lush, soft coral everywhere. And then there's just one big crown of thorns and nothing around it. <laughs> I wish I knew how to kill them, but I don't. We're just gonna head up across the short walk that's on the island. It's meant to be a pretty good uh, walk or easy walk and a good view. So I'm always always down for that and uh yeah we'll bring you along with us it is such a nice spot here and if you get the weather i would definitely recommend getting out here um, a little bit away from the charter the boats and all that but yeah it's beautiful We stopped. We almost sailed straight past. Selkie pulled in. They're calling our bluff, and we decided to follow them for good reason. Look at this place. Absolutely beautiful. You see that? So I just learnt that oh, this the grass trees. You can use them as a compass because they will always flower on the north side of that. So like that one. That part, yeah. So they see how they're only on one side. How much that sings true. It's, yeah, south there. Yeah. That is perfect. And we can just see two little turtles down there in the distance just frolicking. But yeah, anyway, we better make our way back before our tenders high and dry. And um, yeah, we'll take you for a sail with us down to Hook Island to Manoray Bay and um, have a bit of a, a snorkel with the big wrasse. What's his name? He's got Barry. a name, not Barry. Not Barry. This one's Barry's at the cod hole, I think. We'll meet Ronald. him later in the year. Harold. Not Harold. <laughs> he 
it is the perfect length height. Long enough to feel like you went somewhere, short enough to not have to carry water, shoes, <laughs> or any, any equipment. So I'm literally in my swimmers and- uh, And shoes. And, and thongs, yeah. But you could do that barefoot, absolutely no problems. Look at this spot, so nice. Hiking with Michael Taco. Oh. <laughs> Did you just walk straight into it? Oh, I thought it would be fine. And there's a sharp, snapped off breast stuck straight. That'd be good. <laughs> Cataran mm. Bay, dangerous. One out of five. <laughs> <laughs> this police baton. I think have to get Alan Sparks to teach us how to use it. Baton skills. What do I want? <laughs> How do yes. they do it? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Hang on, down, down, down. You're caught on the laser jack. It doesn't have to be tight either downwind. Alright, uh, we're sailing. We're sailing. We didn't get much of this the sail up part, but the downwind, our favourite setup, our favourite sailing style and we're gonna chase down Selkie. We know their weaknesses. One, they don't do well downwind. Two, they're really lazy and can't be bothered putting the main up. So we put the main up because they would absolutely smoke us if they put the main up. And we're about to overtake them. So cheers Selkie. Your fancy sea wind can't buy you any extra effort. <laughs> Michael's even putting the lock and preventer on. So that main stays really nice and full and we have the two angles. We've got the main sheet pulling it um, into the wind, like pulling it to windward and then the preventer. And if it does that, that's not meant to do that, but um, it doesn't sort of, doesn't billow the air out as much and we seem to keep a more constant speed. So this is just, Lovely. I reckon any second we might just see Selkie's head sail get felled in and then mainsail go up. <laughs> What's going on with the wind, Miguel? Uh, it's a little bit fluky fluky at the moment because of the island and we've got funny currents now. So I think once we clear the island by about a mile or something, we'll get a bit. <laughs> we'll clear the island a bit and get a little bit cleaner air. But you get talking with your hands. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and then hopefully we'll overtake Selkanet. Although we're carrying about two tons of moss on the bottom of the boat. I oh, know it's bad. Terrible. up in Butterfly Bay and we are going to head around to Manta Bay, Manta Ray, oh my god I'm never going to get it right, Manta Ray Bay for a snorkel with the Maori Rass.
next episode on Sailing for Power. This is why we don't like crabbing in the tender up here. Not happy. Well, first for the season. There it is. Ginger, garlic, shallot, mud crab. Oh. What? A huge thanks to our patrons for your ongoing support and welcome on board Teague and Reef Navigator. And if you'd like to support us in another way, be sure to check out our merch at sailingpapow.com. And a big thanks to anyone that's already bought a couple of items off the shop. Cheers, legends.